Hi, my name's Francis Mountjoy, and I'm on a journey to try to understand how to design and build homes that are healthy, comfortable, energy efficient, and durable. I want to understand how to build a better tomorrow. Hi, John. G'day, Francis. How are you? We're good. We're good. Right. Where are we going? Well, we're already here. We are? We're... Where are we? We're in a car, which is the exact opposite of the villa that we were in. Unlike a villa, the car has been designed to seal us off from the outside, and we can control the temperature right here. It's quite comfortable, but unlike a house, this car doesn't have insulation. Yep, so let's talk about insulation. Nice cardigan. Thanks! My mother-in-law knitted it for me. Are you warm? Yeah, warm and snugly, actually. How about now? Okay, what was that all about? Well, uncontrolled air movement through your cardigan means that it doesn't work the way it was designed. Mm. And house insulation is exactly the same. So air tightness is not firstly about comfort, it's about control. Oh. So we want to keep the warm air in here, the cold air out there. It's especially important on cold days because where warm, moist air hits a cold surface, mm -hmm. we get Condes condescend condensation. Yep. Righto. Let's go blow up a house. Do what? Hey, John, well, what the heck are you doing? Oh, well, this is a blower door, so that's an industry standard test that allows us to test the air leakiness or air tightness of the building envelope. So we're going to gently depressurize and pressurize the building. If we depressurize, we're going to find where air is leaking in, and if we pressurize, we're going to find where air is leaking out, and if it's leaking, it's lost. So that's our heat energy, that's what we want to fix. What does that number tell us? So that's air changes per hour, uh -huh. and that gives us the amount of air which is going out through the leaks in the building, or coming in through the leaks in the building, and we need to reduce that as much as we can. So can we go find the leaks? Yes. Wow, that's a bad one. Okay, so we've found a gap. We've seen the air leaking through the cavity, but it is a very small hole, John. Well, that small hole gave us an awful lot of leakage during that test, we could see it. But the effect of that air leaking out is the effect on the insulation value. So if the air is flowing through it, it's not working. In fact, it's probably degrading that insulation by maybe up to 80%. 80%? That, that's a big number, how, how come so much? Well, it's just like you wearing your jersey on a windy day. The air cuts through it and stops your cardigan from working. That leads us to another problem, and that is the amount of moisture that can go out through that hole in the, in the wall as well. So the physical testing that's been done shows that a one millimeter air gap that's one meter long over a 24 hour period with a 20 degree temperature difference can lead so 800 mils of moisture being taken out through that gap in the wall. That's a lot of water. Where is all that water going to go when it goes through the hole? Well, hopefully a lot of that will carry on. But the reality is that some of it can get trapped in the wall. And at that stage, water, mould and structural decay. Small gap. Big problem. So how do you make a house heater? Well, truth is it's too late for this house, but what you need to do is consider it at design stage and then build it in on day one. So Francis, we're now in a brand new build and you'll see that the air barrier, in this case the Intello, is designed into the structure and then it's built in during the build process. So that air barrier is connected to itself where it joins, it's connected to the windows, it's sealed up around the cables and the pipes. Now we've got an air barrier which is continuous around the inside of the insulation line. 
So this product stops moisture going in, but it doesn't stop it coming back out again. We've just done the blower door test on this house. Yep. The ACH rating is down to 0.8. H how does that rate? Well, that's really good. So a good house is under two. A really great house might be less than that, but this is a really good number for a new build. We're all sealed up. What's next? Ah, ventilation. That's the next episode. Feel like I just did the pause for you. Cut. <laughs>